Hello everybody, it's John here and uh, it's March the 24th. Uh, I got into my hives, A, B, and C hive about a month ago just to see how they were doing at the end of February, I think about the 23rd. And at that time, all three hives were still alive. Uh, they had a little bit of honey in each of them, uh, enough to get by. They was running fairly low on pollen. Uh, but of course, in the first few weeks of uh, March here, uh, they've really started bringing in a lot of tree pollen. So I've already gotten into my other two hives. They're looking good and making a lot of brood. Uh, I didn't see the queen in either one, but I noticed, uh, like I said, a lot of baby bees uh, and eggs. So, so they're right now producing a lot of young. So I thought I'd let you see in my sea hive here. This is usually, and that last year or so has been my biggest hive. We'll open it up right now and see where they stand. The other two uh, so far have not made any queen cells. And again, last year at this time, uh, I had queen cells that were made. And I ended up having to, to do a walk away split on March the 23rd or 24th, I think it was. So that makes me, one of, one of the reasons why I decided it's time maybe to open these hives up just to see where I stand I think we're running a few weeks late because of the cold spell we had here in Southern Illinois. Uh, so they're not really yet, uh, maybe to that swarm point, but it won't be long because I could see easily here in the next two weeks that the, they may be starting to. The other two hives did have a lot of drone brood in them. The other two hives, uh, I was also wanting to open them up a little bit and give them some more bars uh, because uh, they were smaller at the end of the year and uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, giving them enough room here as, as the spring starts and they start bringing in nectar maybe too that will help prevent them from uh, wanting to swarm so easily. These first few bars here that I opened at this end. Uh, the other entrance is down at the far end here and at this end already they've uh, started putting honey together and we got honey and pollen coming in quite a bit. A lot of these are empty, half empty at least and some of them these first few I took out they're still pretty full two-thirds full of honey and it looks like they may even be bringing in some nectar a little bit here we go we're getting down now into some brood uh, oh a lot of little baby bees here I don't know if you can see them or not the sun shining Lots of little babies. Larvae. So what I'm gonna do is just to keep track here, uh, write on them what we have. It would be nice to see the queen. These bees may get a little cantankerous because I'm already down in the brood. Now here's a sign of uh, the hives getting ready to maybe swarm. Uh, if you'll notice here, we're getting a lot of drone brood started. I've not seen any drone yet, but as you can tell, this one is just, this whole comb here is just nothing but drone brood. And then also on this side. Like I said, I don't see any that have hatched, but it won't be long. There's a lot of them capped, so within the next week or so, they'll be hatching out. And again, I noticed last year when the drones started hatching out, that's when you had to start working start worrying about them swarming. Put drone brood on that. Here we are. 
hour, another full uh, full uh, bar of uh, brood. That's all full here in the center too. I notice on a lot of hives, here's the queen. Right here's the queen. Do you see her there? Right here. So she's moving around trying to find a spot to lay. Like I was saying, my uh, in these combs here, a lot of times they fill the whole comb with brood. And on some of your other uh, beehives, you'll notice they'll leave a little ring of honey at the top and then some pollen. But a lot of times where the, the main brood is at in these uh, five or six bars, they almost fill the whole comb up. Again, she's a good looking queen. Don't see any signs of queen cells or queen cups yet. Put her back in there. Since I've seen her there, I'm probably, I may not go through the whole thing, but uh, another, another full coma bird. Both sides. They're getting a little upset with me here. It's a little windy today, but the temperature is about 70. This is full. The parts that are empty there just stay in them. So she is downright laying eggs right now. And this one here had honey in it in the fall. And right now it's got full of drone brood. On both sides. I'll quickly go through these last few. I think I'm about out of the brood section here. Again, it's some more drone. And then we're down into empty combs, and they're filling that with. Uh, This has kind of always been my biggest hive. It usually fills completely full with about 29 bars. And right now, they, again, they're taking off pretty good this uh, spring. Got three bars left. We got honey on it, and it's filling up with nectar. Looking good. And an empty bar. So what I'm gonna do here, is I'm going to put as many empty bars in as I can so that they can fill them up in the next few weeks. So this whole hive will be full from feed, uh, from follower board to follower board. Close that brood section up and they'll start taming down a little bit. The other two hives again were a little smaller and they were not nearly as cantankerous as these. Down to the very end here. These are some messed up comb because last year uh, they built such big combs of honey and they just, it was, the honey flow was on it. As you can see here, how thick this is almost two inches thick or more of comb. It's funny how they bubbled out like that. And I think the biggest reason that happened was. Uh, I would put an alternate an empty comb in every so often at the end here to try to get them to build out more comb and I don't think that's the best way of doing it because then all they do is take the comb that's there and extend it even farther 
and then you end up with a piece like this where the bigger comb was sticking through and then they have this. So I think I've not totally figured out how to, to keep rotating the comb yet and getting the old comb out. Of course it's easy to get the ones with honey on it out and cleaning them off. But there's a way I'm going to have to figure out to rotate the comb out after about uh, three years. And also uh, keep the brood and even the honey uh, to where they'll keep building it straight. They usually do. It's just this hive last year, I tried something different. And this is the hive that I've had more trouble with the comb getting so big and a little bit harder to manage. But otherwise, they usually do pretty good. These bars here is last year I've already cleaned the, the honey off of them and I left a little bit of the wax on there so I'll put these empty bars in here at this end. And we'll just close this hive up. That'll leave me about uh, four empty bars here and I will check on that again here in a few weeks. As the nectar flow continues to come and just see how they're doing. Not too bad. I must have smashed a bee or they've stung me. I can smell bananas. Like I said, it's uh, March the 24th today, 2021 here in Southern Illinois. It's 70 degrees. A beautiful day to get into the bee yard. And I was well pleased and blessed uh, to see that the bees are doing so good. And like I said in the video, I do believe we're a couple weeks behind uh, because of the cold weather. Uh, the drones will be hatching out here pretty soon in the next week or so. And when the drones hatch out, uh, like I said, it, it is pretty well swarm season time. So as soon as there's plenty of drones ro roaming around, uh, they'll decide to uh, split and uh, the queen will take off and uh, swarm season begins. And I can't wait for that. Hopefully this year I'll catch a few again. And I've got a few people that are needing some. We had a few uh, die out this winter. Uh, some of the beekeepers around. Uh, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to replenish them. Uh, I myself we started another hive. Uh, I'm either going to try to make a split if I a walk away split again if I can. Or I'd love to catch a, a, a brand new swarm, a big swarm to put in there so they'll build up quite a bit quicker. So uh, again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. And let's get ready for this uh, 2021 B season. God bless you all.